Yes, yeah. adore you all at a time. I like to. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, um, like, comment, all that sort of good stuff, and I'll be sure to get back to you. But today, we're gonna to be doing an automatic transmission fluid flush and field change on my BMW 125i E82. Now, this is super uh, needed. This car has had a few acceleration issues. Uh, it kind of stutters if it's not really warm due to the transmission, uh, you know, fluid and all that good stuff having you know, having been in the car for over 10 years now, and BMW recommends, well, BMW actually says that you shouldn't change it ever. But um, everyone else on the forum says that it should be changed like every 50,000 k's or something ridiculous like that. Now, this car is definitely due for it. Um, it's it's run it through a few codes saying that it was burning oil, and you can definitely smell it. So, yeah, today, that's what I'll be doing, and come along for the ride with me. Stay tuned. Oh, a bag of goodness. Who doesn't love a good unboxing? Crack this good stuff open. My kitchen scissors that aren't kitchen scissors anymore. Now, this is hopefully all the transition pieces that I need. Um, I wanted to unbox this so badly, but I figured I'd do it on camera so everybody can check it out as well. I'm not sure what that is. Box inside a box. And then the gasket. Definitely need a gasket. And then some mad ass paper. Cool. Well, I'm in the second box. Ah, yes. Cool. Bubble wrap. Filter. Filter itself. Now, this is the piece that I probably definitely need the most. Um, otherwise, I was just going to do an oil change, and that's not worth the time to, you know, get under the car, do all that good stuff if you're not going to change the filter as well. Mad. And these will be all my nuts and bolts and hardware, which is cool. Bolts. Spacer. Bolt. And a drain plug bolt. Cool. So now that we've got all the parts, we'll jack the car up and we'll get to it. Cool, so I got it all jacked up. Um, not very high. My jack stands aren't the greatest. Actually, it's not the jack stand, it's the jack itself. My jack, my jack isn't the greatest, it doesn't go very high. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, the jack isn't the greatest, but nonetheless, there's enough clearance that I can squeeze under there and get all their things off and all that sort of stuff. We're starting with the uh, plastic cover that the plastic cover that all European car makers love to put underneath their car, especially BMW. Um, yeah, so I'll grab that off real quick. A couple of bolts. And yeah. Bring out of the car with me. So we're under the car now, and that's our fill by oh, drain bolt. Um, perfect. So it's actually a Torx one, uh, which is pretty common on most BMW models. Uh, as for which size, it is a T30. Perfect. Now I'm just going to crack that, and I'm going to get a drain and uh, watch it all seep out. So I figured a quick change in uh, the way in which I come in. So I'm coming in. If you can see my legs kind of moving around down here. I'm coming in from the front of the car. I'm um, coming backwards, so that's all good. Like I said, T30 in here. We've got our bucket, which is right here. A little awkward. There we go. That's cracked. Any moment it'll start leaking everywhere on the grounds. Quick 
quick change of plans. She's got a different bucket. Having a bit of appearance issues, but theory is still the same. So that'll crack. Hello. There it goes. Now that is weird to do a transmission not that is weird to do an oil drain without it burning my hand. So I guess that's kind of cool. I don't want to overflow this one. It smells burnt because it is burnt. One eternity later. So we got a ton of oil out. Now this is black, like properly black. I guess it has been in there for 10 years, like I said, but for a comparison, that's what it looks like. And if I crack open this bottle, See that reddy color? That's the color it was. So, and like I said, it was burning oil and it was definitely low and the acceleration stutter was just out of this world. So that's that's why, that's all old, that's all manky. This is new, this is new. All fresh stuff and all the filters and whatnot. And like, we're gonna be set. Like boys, this'll be, this'll be good, yeah? This is a well-deserved, like, piece of maintenance that like everybody should do if you've got an old BMW automatic manual it doesn't even matter yeah that transmission man needs it so we're gonna get back under I'm gonna crack that bottom pan and there'll be more oil on that so we're gonna be we're gonna be careful but we're gonna go under there I'm gonna crack it so back under the car uh, all the way around this pan there are these 10 millimeter bolts now I'm gonna crack every single one of them all the way around and then I'm just going to crack all the ones except the corners all the way out just so the pan stays up because don't forget that it's still fluid in here so yeah so just sit tight okay. Alright, so I've got all of them cracked, and like I said, I'm going to go around each one that isn't a corner one, and I'm going to loosen them all the way. Now, this is easier with a drill. So, now it's time for the money shot. Now. This is being held on by just those four corner ones. Um, I'm gonna release them all evenly while holding the pan. Now there's still fluid inside here um, and they'll, it'll drip everywhere if I'm not careful. So I'm gonna be careful. So I'm gonna gradually do it while still holding the pan to make sure it's evenly pressed up and then it'll crack a little and then I'll, I'll, I'll let it drip. And you'll see, you'll see everything underneath. There'll be the filter, I'll be sitting like right around here-ish. And yeah, it's a it's quite an interesting interesting drop. But without further ado, we'll just crack on lads, cause fuck. Anything for the boys. So what I've actually been doing is just kind of getting this metal between the gasket and the pan and uh, cracking it loose in all the corners. But ideally, you use a screwdriver, but I'm under the car and I can't be bothered getting back out. So I'm choosing this. All right, so the pan's off. Oh shit, like I said, it's dripping. And it's dripping all over the body floor. Ideally, I would have done that with no mess. Now, all the top. Oh, do not be like me, kids. That sucks. Oh, that's so annoying. But, you know, I've got that out. You can get up in there and see, kind of thing. When you get that gasket off, that's the pan there. So the gasket will go change, all the bolts will change. Cool, so this has dripped a bit more. I've given it a quick wipe. Um, but now comes the cool bit, which is removing the filter bit. Now there'll be more oil in here physically and it'll tip out Hopefully. So I'll set you guys up. Oh, 
I'll get to removing the filter, which is held on literally by an O-ring. Oh, you could just not do that, Yoshi. And like I said, it's full of oil. As you tip it over, it will drip out. Not sure if you can see that. So we'll take this out of the car, out from under the car, and I will show you what it looks like. So I drain the rest of the oil uh, into my head. So that's what it kind of looks like. Now this is pretty common. This is just kind of like soot and whatnot from underneath the pan. That's a pretty common thing. Now the cool thing I found on this is that this is the all the stuff, all the metallic whatnot that the uh, the magnet that's inside the transmission picked up. Now this looks worrying, but it's actually quite common. It's actually it should be like this. After a hundred plus thousand Ks, that's what it should it should look like. And this has never been changed. So yeah. So comforting to see that it works because that keeps that out of your oil out of your uh, transmission which is a good thing but yeah pretty normal clutch wear sort of thing for an automatic transmission so we'll get that out we'll clean this all up and this will look pretty good right now look how much better that looks that's just doing a quick clean a bit of water you know, wipe down with a towel and that looks mad so next thing we're going to do is we're going to chuck the new filter under the car in its new spot so back under the car, this is the new filter. Now this one's literally just gonna slide back in where the other one was. So all you gotta do is make sure you line up with the hole. Make sure it's sitting correctly. Nice and flat. Make sure you don't get any oil in your hair if you dropped all your body oil on the ground. And like that. Bang! She's in. That looks great. So move on to the other part. Which is back outside, we're gonna get that gasket back on. Oh, we're gonna get a new gasket on. Um, and then we can see all that back on. Bada bing, bada boom. So, make sure you have all your new nuts ready in a separate spot from your old nuts so you know which ones are which. Just grab one so you're ready to go in. Make sure your gasket is seated on the little nozzles. It'll make sense when you look at your own. So we're underneath the car now. Uh, I've got our torque wrench. Um, so we want to tighten these, torque these in an outward position to put pressure on the outside of the pan and to put the uh, to spread the gasket nice and evenly. So we'll start in the middle and we'll kind of work across and out and all that sort of stuff. And we're going to torque this to. Ten newton meters. So there we go. Put that on there nicely. Get it spinning. This is just the exact same plug but a newer version. Because this one's obviously 10 years old. So it's probably just a rag underneath. There won't be much there. Oh, it doesn't drip at all. Doesn't. Perfect. We're all good. Now it's time to fill. So, right under the car, obviously. This is the back of the transmission. That up there where my spanner is, is the fill bar. Now we're gonna crack the old one. We've got a brand new one for this one. But yeah, we're gonna crack that and then we'll start pumping her in. So, fill bolts open. Got my hose to kind of wrap around 
and inside the thingo, and then I'm just gonna start pumping away. So, um, you fill up the transmission until it starts to seep back out, and then that means you're about, I don't know, a quarter of the way through. So what you do is you turn your car back on, let your transmission run through all the gears, and that'll allow you to fill it some more. So, I'll do exactly that. What I did was I put it in, I turned the car on, I ran through all the gears uh, with my foot on the brake and then I leave it in park for a couple of minutes. Let it get all warm, let it get all the fluid all the way around and then we're just gonna do our final pump and it'll pump the rest of the fluid all the way through it. And we should be pretty good, we should be good. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it sit idle, it's super loud so you probably can't hear me at all anyway, so. Mad. So I'm back under the car with my 17 millimeter, which is here. You get to tighten this bad boy, because the last thing I want. Is... Now, all I have to do is put the uh, plastic cover back on, and I'm done. And that'll go on like this. Voila, all done. All right, let's get all the shit out, and we can see how the car goes. So, first try with the new transmission filter and oil. A, my hands are putrid. I should not be driving right now. So, so, as you can tell, I'm pretty happy because usually if I stepped on the accelerator that quickly, after turning the car on, it would have acceleration stutter. Hang on. it would have that acceleration stutter. Now, I'm not feeling that at all. It feels smooth, feels crisp. Also, usually by now I'd be smelling a, quite a strong burning odor, like burning, and it's not there. It's not there at all. Uh, this is because it was burning transmission oil. Now, I knew it was burning transmission oil. I, I had the codes read uh, and it said, yeah, coming back is burnt oil. Uh, from the transmission, so I knew that was there, so I knew it had to be done, but it's just like, uh, once you do something, just maintenance, something, something like that, you can just enjoy the car again sort of thing, so I'm glad that it's done now, because that makes me happy, and that'll make my girlfriend happy, because she's sick of smelling that smell, um, and that'll make Jules happy, when you guys have met Jules. Oh, feels good, feels good, feels good. Feels good, nice even acceleration. No stuttering, no trying to pick which gear it should be in. It feels good, it feels really good. All right, I'll head back to the garage. So there we have it guys, that's the end of the video. Um, like I said, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Like the, the smell, the stutter was driving me insane and I was just waiting on parts and these parts came in a day ago and I'm doing it on my first free day that I can do it. So, super stoked with how it turned out. Uh, Definitely recommend if your car's having that sort of issue with the automatic transmission or any transmission for that matter. But yeah, sweet. So good. Do it yourself. It's not that hard. Follow what I did. There are tons of other videos out there. Follow what they did. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you chuck a like, drop a comment if you've got something to ask me, and subscribe. But I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.